Positioning extreme. Let's dig into that. Extreme? So, so I, I'm not sure that it's extreme, but if you think about the past couple of years, what we've seen is against a relatively lackluster macroeconomic backdrop, you've seen a lot of people move into the tech sector because these companies have had an ability to generate earnings and revenue growth despite what's going on in the economy. So, you know, are people overweight tech? Yes, a lot of the investors I speak to are overweight tech. I'm not sure positioning is necessarily extreme, but I do think we're seeing some rotation there. And we saw it on Friday, people moving out of tech back into things like financials despite a very small increase in, uh, in interest rates. If you looked at these companies in isolation, mm -hmm. you'd be able to paint a pretty solid picture for all of them. But as investors, you look at the story relative to the price and you ask right. yourself how much optimism, what is the dream and what is the price right. for it that's already there. And I think pretty much the tale of the last couple of days, all the notes I've read is that there is too much optimism in the price of these stocks relative to what they can do this year. Is that what you side with too? Uh, you know, I think that there's still some upside for these names. I'm not sure that we're necessarily at that point where things begin to roll over. And one of the things that we've been thinking a lot about is we're in this world of very low inflation. And everybody's trying to figure out how companies are going to generate pricing power, how companies are going to continue to grow their earnings. Well, the tech sector has proven to be very good at dealing with the deflationary environment. I mean, technology in and of itself, prices fall over time. So you know, I think we're due for a pause here. We think the second second quarter economic numbers are going to end up being pretty good at the end of the day, um, which may you know, suggest a bit more cyclical tilt away from tech, which kind of grows regardless of the environment. But we think that there's still upside and we like you know, tech, financials, we like these higher beta parts of the market broadly because we think that there's still some room to run.